Hey everyone, Gimme Bricks here, back for another video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a Lego haul. Now, this haul is all the stuff that I acquired from Brick Fair, Virginia. First up, I got this a gallon of Lego bulk. Um, here, I'll give you guys a look of what's inside. Now, this was from a stand that was uh, selling Lego for charity. Um, so this thing was just $5. Um, I'm kicking myself for not getting more than one bag, but... Um, yeah, very, very good deal in my opinion. Yeah, so just $5 for a gallon of Lego. Up next, from the same seller, I got these Lego keychains that say Crash Trek Coach. I believe these are from the first Lego League, um, some event of theirs or something. Now I got two of these, one to keep sealed and one to open. Um, they were two for a buck, I believe, so pretty good deal in my opinion. They had these, uh, I think they're from 2000, I want to say they're from 2000, yeah, 2006. Um, these Lego Creator um, Helicopter Poly Bags, set number 4906. Um, yeah, they were really cool. They were, I think they were only like two bucks or something like that, and they're sealed. So I decided to get two of them. I know it's not the best price given the amount of parts included. There's only 16 parts in each set, but... It's more for the bag, I guess, that I'm paying for it, and, um, yeah, really cool set in my opinion. Um, I'll probably be doing a review of that. I have this, um, let's see if it will focus. There we go. Unprinted Bomb Squad Trooper helmets. Now, these are really cool. They were a dollar a piece, so I got two of them. And then I got some LEGO Star Wars blaster pieces that are supposed to be black, so, like, when they were running tests when they updated molds or originally made the blasters, I'm not quite sure. I got these Lego Ninjago movie, um, they're just like a Kendo Lloyd, I guess, poly bag. Um, I think these are exclusive from a video game, that's why there's like that, um, that padlock and a code there. Yeah, very cool set in my opinion, so I got two of them. One to open and one to keep sealed. Uh, now, the, they were marked $3.99 a piece, but I got two of them for 6 bucks, so saved $2 there. And that was from Atlanta Brick Co. And then, also from Atlanta Brick Co., I got this Avengers Captain America motorcycle. Now, it was marked $4.99. I, don't, I know I paid less than that. I forget exactly how much it was. I want to say it was like 3 or $4, but... Um, some of the parts fell off in coming home, but that's all right. Uh, very good for parts for the price, though, I think. Up next, um, I got a Lego Chima set. Now, I'm a big fan of Lego Chima. I don't own too, too many of the sets, but this is set 70127. This is uh, the Wolf Legend Beast set uh, from 2014. Now, this set is incomplete. Um, here's the wolf. And, uh, as you can see, it's missing the ears. Um, I probably have the parts, actually. Um, yeah, so it, it comes with the wolf. And then war is... Yeah, these parts are not in amazing condition. You could see, like, some teeth marks or little dents in his head. Um, his weapon is chewed a little bit. It's not the proper shape. The stickers are just horribly aligned. Um, I hate stickers like this, but I got this set because I find it fun to kind of try to restore the sets, I guess. Um, he wanted $10 for this, which is a fair price, I think, if it's off eBay, including shipping. So I, I offered him, I think, I want to say it was $3 or something, and I, like, we haggled back and forth, and we, had, we settled for three. Classic plastic bricks, and he had these, uh, these are rather weird Lego parts. Um, he wanted a dollar for five of them, which I was fine with, because I, if I'm not mistaken, I think on BrickLink they're like 30 cents a piece or something like that, so I was fine with that. But I got four in orange, and then one in, uh, medium blue, and then, um, he also had this pack of trading cards from, I think these are from Island Extreme Stunts, the video game. Um, yeah, I'm probably not going to open these, but... Uh, he said I could just have them with a purchase, so I got these and got this included, so very happy with that. And then, up next, I got 
a bag of bulk of these Azure, I think, maybe. Um, I counted them, there's 25 of them, I got it for $2, so I'm happy with that. And then, up next, I got um, one, two, and three bulk bags. Now, these were from, I think, the Brick Dudes, I wanna say, so they were $10 a piece. Um, I mostly tried to fill it with rather weird pieces. Uh, I got some really cool parts. I'll do a run through as I go to clean them, but I found like, let's see, some of those feet pieces or plants um, or rocket engines from a Lego City rocket uh, space shuttle light and sound brick. Um, and then in this one, I got a lot of larger plates like an Anjago spinner piece there, some glow in the dark. And this one I got a lot of smaller pieces, some chrome coins which are really cool. And I got actually a lot of mini figure parts in this one. I probably got like eight figure heads or something like that. So here's just a few of the part highlights that I got in some of the bowls. I got this purple brick. Now I don't remember what the proper term for this color purple is. I tend to call this Barney purple because it literally looks like Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a really cool shade of purple in my opinion. Next, I also got some of the um, older issues of the Brick Journal, the magazine. Um, they were three dollars a piece. I tried to negotiate with them, but it didn't work out. But that's all right with me. This is the 32nd issue, January 2015. I'm very excited about this one. And this one has stuff by Chris McVeigh, um, who, if you don't know, he used to make these brick sketches and post them on Flickr, um, and now he works for like as a product designer. And since I want to become one, I thought it'd be cool to read about it. Then I got, since I like Lego Star Wars, I got one from December 2015 when The Force Awakens came out and it has a bunch of Star Wars builds and stuff in it. Um, and last but certainly not least, and probably my favorite one, I got this one from uh, Feb January and February of 2010. This one has like this Toy Story stuff on it and it shows like prototypes and whatnot in the magazine. Very excited to read this one. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, please give a thumbs up and please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on more LEGO content just like this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.